Now we move on to Scotland as Scotland plans to ban barbaric conversion therapy, and that is already upsetting Christian bigots. Um, so we talked about Ireland's conversion therapy ban. Um, what's going on over here in Scotland? Yeah, we did mention that, you know, Scotland's moving this way, Ireland's moving this way, but of course there's going to be a reaction. Simon Calvert is the deputy director at the Christian Institute, and the movement of the Scottish legislature to bring forward this ban that was inspired by Australian legislation. Director Calvert says that the ban would end up criminalizing mainstream pastoral work of churches, mosques, synagogues, and temples. Going on, quoted saying, if the Scottish government follows the advice of its expert advisory group, it will be exceeding its powers and inflicting the most totalitarian conversion therapy ban in the world, which that right in and of itself is so oxymoronic that we can't just ignore somebody who doesn't realize their own harm that they're causing. But anywho, ministers were warned that the Christian Institute or warned the Christian Institute had received legal advice concerning ways to strike down the legislation. Uh, who described the law as fundamentally illiberal in intent. Um, illiberal. Interesting. I, yeah, I don't know what illiberal is. Uh, that's a new one for me. The Scottish government wants to bring this legislation forward in a bill by the end of this year. And so that, you know, this is, this is trying to move forward in Scotland to bring those protections to individuals in the LGBTQ plus community. But we see that Christian voices want to maintain a very harmful and harm-creating form of therapy that would force LGBTQ plus people into some sort of revi you know, revisiting of who they are as a way to remove those quote-unquote sinful impulses. And, you know, there are plenty of studies that prove that conversion therapy doesn't work. It only does harm and that um, if a person goes back to their normal behavior after they're out of the situation, after a certain amount of time, they'll just revert to the behavior anyways, because it's mm -hmm. who they are and you can't change who a person is at right. their core. So funny that they, they would cling to that despite all of the evidence to the contrary of it doesn't, it doesn't work and, and you're only doing harm to people. It's unfortunate that, that pastors, that, clergy members don't need to um, sign the uh, the oath that doctors do, the um, Hippocratic Oath to do no harm. Seems like that would be a good thing. I'm going to turn no, on our... sign the Hippocratic Oath. Hippocratic Oath. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>